Ed Forsberg's an amazing man. He, he's been an ED physician for a long time and in that role has of course dealt with so many uh, individual emergencies, has trained our staff, has worked with um, the, the entire team in the emergency room and throughout the hospital on life-saving techniques that the American Heart Association have helped to develop over the years. So the powerful aspect of his story is that the, when the tables are turned and he finds himself incapacitated, that training and that work that he did over the years uh, actually contributed to saving his own life. Uh, he's an amazing man and a good friend. I, in 1979, I became the residency director of a family practice program in Columbus, Georgia. And at that point, we never really did much CPR. I mean, that wasn't a big thing. So I became a cardiac, an ACLS instructor in, I guess, December of 1979. Taught doctors, nurses, dentists, paramedics, uh, respiratory therapists, physical therapists, anybody in a hospital, anybody in a hospital. And now what I'm doing even more is, is teaching uh, more of the lay person because as an ER director for all these years, I started looking back and I decided that in the ER anyway, I hadn't really saved anybody or very few. Uh, I was working for a group of doctors and he came in and joined the group after he left the military and met him then. And uh, he wanted to go to some other small town in either South Georgia, North Florida. And I said, I want to go back to the East Coast near Jacksonville. So I got on the phone and called up this other group that he had worked for before and uh, said, what do you have near the Jacksonville area? And they said, we have um, Benel. And I said, where in the world is that? So then they told me Palm Coast, and I said, I like that, he'll take it. So over the last five years, six years, I've pushed my emphasis on training regular folk who may be the first one because if we don't start working on these people immediately when they go down, their chance of survival when they get to me in the ER, as close to zero as you can get. The first time he taught me was actually in his private practice office when I worked for him. And so that's been 30 something years ago. We were at the Palm Coast Tennis Center and uh, my tennis team, there were four of us, we were waiting to play a league match. And uh, some of the gentlemen that were playing on, I think it was court number six, started running up toward the front saying, call 911. And uh, saw all these people standing around and saw a gentleman down on the ground. So I just jumped down there on top of him and started doing chest compressions and saying, come on, buddy, come on. And um, within a few minutes, he started kind of gasping and snorting. And then the firemen and the paramedics walk up and then started taking care of him. And, and uh, then later when I talked to him, he's like, how do you feel? Isn't, don't you feel just great? And I said, Yes, I won my tennis match. And he's like, no, you saved this guy's life. And I said, eh, let's wait and see how it turns out. And then it turned out very good. He had a very good outcome. He, after he had gone to the hospital, he had an internal defibrillator installed and is back to playing tennis two or three days a week 